as Singapore gradually reopens, more and more people will be returning to the office and that means that commuter numbers on buses and trains will rise. So authorities concede that it will be challenging to maintain safe distancing, well, especially during peak hour. Safe distancing stickers on public transport will be removed to free up more space on trains and buses, but they say that commuters must play their part, including having flexible work arrangements. Gwyneth Chia with more. From 2nd June, public transport frequency and operating hours will return to pre-circuit breaker levels. However, even at full capacity, the Transport Ministry and Land Transport Authority say maintaining safe distancing on trains and buses will be difficult. That's because about a third of workers will be able to go back to their workplaces. Now, in order to carry enough people, we're going to have to remove the stickers and allow people to sit there. But we will have our transport ambassadors. They've been out on the ground and uh, helping people already. They will continue that work uh, to help people behave better. Uh, what does behaving better mean? Keep your mask on. Uh, please don't talk. Because those are things that we can do to prevent risk to other commuters. LTA says seat markers on train platforms will also be removed. The same goes for boarding queue markers at bus interchanges. To ease the squeeze during peak hour, Dr Janio hopes employers will encourage telecommuting or allow staggered hours where possible. Rigorous cleaning regimes on public transport will continue. High contact surfaces will be sprayed with self-disinfecting coating. As an added precaution, commuters can also use safe entry, which will help with contact tracing efforts where needed. This will be entirely voluntary. The use of safe entry is not going to delay your travel because no one's going to stop you to check your NRIC. This is something that uh, while you're waiting for the train, waiting for the, uh, the, the next train to come along, the QR code is there, please use it so that you have a log and you can be protected. Meanwhile, when asked if transport fares may rise due to higher long-term operating costs and low passenger demand during the circuit breaker, Dr Janio says it's too early to tell. As we go through this reopening of the economy, we will have to maintain the cleanliness and effectiveness of the public transport system. And as we do that, we'll see what happens to passenger loads and we'll see what happens to the operations. And after we are very clear that we've achieved some kind of steady state, that's the time to then review this. But for now, we do what's necessary to keep Singapore moving. Transport Minister Corbyn Wan had previously said that if the impact is drastic, the government may need to update the financing model for public transport appropriately.